Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mondays with Mardos. I'm Gerard, and today we're gonna to talk about what I wish somebody told me before I started smoking cigars. But before we get going, I need you to click on that subscribe button, click on the bell to be notified every single week with new episodes of Mondays with Mardos. All right, so when I first started smoking cigars, I had no idea, no clue of what a cigar was. I didn't know the differentiation from mild, medium to full body cigar. My tip is always to go to a brick and mortar or Google anything that you want to buy cigars and do some reading. But the easiest thing to do as a spontaneous person like me, I like answers right here, right now. So I'm going to go to my local brick and mortar, I'm going to walk into a humidor and I'm going to ask for some assistance. And I'm going to tell the individual that it's my first time smoking a cigar and I like something obviously very mild. What are your recommendations? Well, cigars are classified in three different ways. You have the appearance, you have the taste, and then you have the strength. Appearance of a cigar can be very deceiving. Just because it has a lighter shade of a wrapper does not mean it's a mild cigar, so be sure that you ask for some assistance. There are many brands out there that do have mild characteristics. A Jake Wyatt Appendix 2 is a phenomenal cigar. It is mild to medium in strength. That means the nicotine is gonna be very low. However, in flavor, it is very full. You're gonna get that abundance of flavor. Now, here's another tip that I'm gonna recommend. A larger ring gauge cigar does not mean it is stronger. What you're gonna get is more flavor because the ratio between the wrapper and the binder and the filler is going to be very equal. So the smaller ring gauge cigar is gonna be a little bit stronger and more peppery because you're gonna get more of the wrapper, which makes up 40% of the flavor. So if you want more of the sweeter nuances, look for larger ring gauge cigars, anything from I would say 54 and above. You can go all the way up to 80, uh, 80 ring gauge. However, I uh, recommend anything between 54 to 60 is very good. Now, moving along to straight from mild to a full body cigar, this is something you do not want to pick up if you're new. This is the Roma Craft Neanderthal LH. This is their strongest cigar in their entire portfolio. This is not something for a novice. But if you're a uh, veteran and you want some strong cigar with a lot of nicotine, a lot of flavor, a lot of spice and pepper, you definitely want to go with the Neanderthal LH. That sums it up basically on how to choose a cigar. Again, um, the world is vast in the cigar industry. There's a lot of different brands out there. Absolutely ask for some assistance at any of your local brick and mortar shop. Now that we have chosen our cigar, we're going to talk about on how and why do you want to cleanse your palate. My experience, my first time that I smoked a cigar, I got to admit, it wasn't very enjoyable. It was very harsh, very, very nasty. I was sitting down with my father. Well, he did me a huge favor, and I'm going to share that with you guys. It was an El Rey de Mundo. I was taking a couple drags, and I just couldn't stand it. So he went to the refrigerator, and he found a tray of cut up cool watermelon. He brought it out to the backyard where we're sitting and he said between each draw, how about you take a bite of the watermelon and see if it cools down your palate a little bit. Man, that was it. I was hooked. Not only did it cleanse my palate, it also cooled down my tongue and made the cigar smoking much more enjoyable and I got to see those unlocked flavors within the area of the window. Now what we're going to talk about is how to cleanse and why to cleanse your palate. Why to cleanse the palate? When we eat dinners like ribeye steaks and we finish off with a dessert with high content of sugar and dairy and all these beautiful fats that make our belly very, very happy, well, it's also coating the entire inside of our mouth cavity. So when you pick up a cigar and you have all this fat covering all those taste buds, it's going to taste like cardboard. We have four flavors in our mouth, right? We have spicy, sour, sweet, and bitter. Well, when you have all these coated and you don't have nothing cleansed, so it's not gonna taste very good. How do we cleanse the palate? There are several ways. You can use a little bit of spirits, which the alcohol will rub away a lot of that fat. You can use a hot beverage like coffee. Um, you can use, what else, any kind of soda, all these type of drinks that have any kind of base that can cleanse all that fat will be a very, very helpful way to cleanse your palate. Now here's another thing. 
You can also retrohale, and what retrohale does, it expands the flavor buds because as I just explained, there are four flavors that we can taste within our mouth. Well, when you retrohale, and what you do is you swoosh the smoke within your oral cavity, you can blow it out of your nasal cavity, and now you can have a thousand different type of scents. So now, not only are we tasting this cigar in our mouth, but we're also getting all those scents through our nasal cavity, and that is how you want to cleanse your palate, and how you cleanse your palate, and how you enjoy all the flavors of a cigar. But have fun with it, don't get so caught up, just start smoking a cigar, enjoy yourself, and also grab yourself a nice beverage that you're gonna enjoy. All right, so before we go, there are two more things I wanna share with you guys and ladies. If you're feeling nauseous during your cigar smoke, one of the best ways to remedy that is having some sugar within our system. You can find it in a Pepsi Cola or Coca Cola. You want a high content of sugar that replaces the nicotine within our bloodstream and gives us a much better state. Another thing is that if you want to learn more about flavors of cigars, you can Google cigar wheel flavor. This is, has a basically it's a pie graph. It breaks down the different types of flavors in the cigar. So. This does conclude our video for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, let us know what you think about, about how to taste cigars and how you enjoyed your first cigar ever in our comments. I'm Gerard, I'll see you next week. And remember to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.